Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the current fiat problem, inflation. And I'm going to compare this to Bitcoin and how this could actually solve this. A lot of people don't actually know where debt is coming from and where inflation is coming from. But in today's video I'm going to try and make this a little bit more clear with a chapter one let's say and if you guys want to see more about these kind of videos make sure to comment below or leave a like and i will definitely continue these kind of series so let's get into the video but before that i want to announce you my sponsor of today's video orphelia Okay, so first of all, imagine yourself having $1,000 in your pocket, in your hands, and you have to carry this $1,000 around, but back in the days, this was a lot of money. So what did people do? They went to a bank and they stored the $1,000 inside of that. But there is a little thing that the banks are doing. Banks have the ability to rent out 90% of your credit you deposited on the bank. So one guy comes in and he borrows $900 from the bank. This is the 90% from your $1,000. So actually there is $1,900 in the bank, but here it comes. The bank lends out $900 from the other guy as well. So another guy comes in and he gets $810 because that's the 90% of 900. This continues on for another person and another person until the bank reaches $10,000 in total. You kind of spotted it previously, the bank was getting more value uh, by the person that was added. So eventually when they reach $10,000, they have some sort of a problem because there's only 1,000 real dollars in the bank. So when everyone wants to take out the $10,000 at once, well, then you have a problem and also the bank has a problem because they don't owe this money. They don't have this. They just keep on lending it out. But I'm going to make it even more crazy here. What if we put on interest on these? How, where does the money come from? Well, this is actually another entire dedicated video of explaining where interests come from. But I'm going to give you guys a little a bit of a hint. This comes from the Federal Reserve. And these guys can just make money out of nowhere and that's where inflation comes from but of course in today's video I wanted to compare this to Bitcoin and I wanted to give you guys a situation so let's say this $1,000 uh, turns into one Bitcoin of course in the future one Bitcoin is going to be worth a million or so but let's con let's say this $1,000 is the same one Bitcoin so just stay with the one Bitcoin, just forget about the $1,000. This one Bitcoin has been stored on the blockchain from Bitcoin and in total the whole network has three Bitcoins for example. This is just for, for today's video to make it easy. So let's say there's only three Bitcoins in the entire network and we have three people to make this story right. So the story goes you, your friend and your friend's boss are involved into this story. So your friend wants to buy a car, but he has no Bitcoin and he wants to borrow this from you. You have one Bitcoin and the car is one Bitcoin. And he says, your friend says, I'm going to pay you 1.1 Bitcoin back if I can borrow your Bitcoin today. But of course, you agree with it and you go on. But the friend's boss, for example, has two Bitcoin because he's a little bit more wealthy than the other two guys here, uh, you and your friend. And as you can see, the total Bitcoin supply is three Bitcoins. Two are from the boss and one is from you. And your friend has no Bitcoin. But what happens? You transfer your Bitcoins to your friend and your friend has one Bitcoin now and you have no Bitcoins. The next thing your friend is going to do is going to purchase the car. So he goes to the car dealer. He gives the one Bitcoin to the car dealer and the car dealer gives him the car. Fairly simple. Now the car dealer has one Bitcoin, the friend's boss has two Bitcoin, and in total we're still on three Bitcoins. 
What is gonna happen? The friend's boss is gonna pay his loan and he's gonna give him 0.1 BTC a month or so. And after a year, your friend has 1.1 Bitcoin in total. He saved it up and he still owes the car and he still owes you 1.1 Bitcoin. Meanwhile, the friend's boss has lost a little bit of money by paying his employee for this. So he only has 0.9 Bitcoin left. Uh, just say that he didn't make expenses or profits. He's just still on the same balance. He didn't do anything. But your friend says like, hey, here's your 1.1 Bitcoin uh, that I borrowed from you, man. And you accept the 1.1 Bitcoin and you made some profit and your friend has his car, like earlier, because he needed the car urgently and you didn't mind missing your Bitcoin for just a while. So here we go. If you once again calculate everything here, there is still three Bitcoins in the network. There is no change, no inflation or anything. This is because Bitcoin gives you a stable supply. And the reason why I'm making this video is because this is very important. People will say in the comments below like, hey, but what, what if all the Bitcoins are mined? How are miners going to be paid? Well, this is actually very simple. People will be paid by the transaction fees. So these miners will be paid by the transaction fees. And once they process a, a transaction, they will get a fee from this and they will automatically make money out of it. So this is actually very, very awesome to explain how a fixed circulation will be. One more thing I can tell you about this is probably for another video, but inflation has been so crazy that you may pay $1 for an orange right now, and maybe in the future you have to pay $10 for the same orange. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to leave something in the comments below for videos you want to see like this. So, see you guys in the next one.